M0FXB TRD Radio have released the new H8 third generation. It now has airband in line with, in line with the H3. It's still a VHF, UHF radio. It does cover 6 metres, 4 metres and will actually work on the, the CB bands. It's a beautiful set and you'll find that there's customization firmware for both of these devices. The H8 is, is nearer £40, £45. Pound. The screen size, I wouldn't say the screen size is, is, is much larger than the H3, but the whole radio is, much, is a more substantial radio. If you're looking for something that you want to feel substantial, I would go for the H8. Now, if you want a small pocket radio that you can slip into your pocket and hardly know it's there i would definitely go for the h3 now the air band on these works amazing it's crystal clear they both have very bright torches okay the the quality of the of the h8 feels fantastic it really does i mean that torch you've got your emergency button here and when these are are transmitting and receiving you can see the colours inside. I do like the clear models here, but you can get these in black, of course. Uh, the battery on the H8 is, let's just zoom in there. Quite hard, 2,500, and just slots into the back, nice and easy. I would put your belt clip on after after you uh, well, take the battery off first before you put the belt clip on, it's easier. The battery on the H3, same, same power, but chunky, it's a chunky little thing. Let's get some audio and have a listen, and we'll also in connect airband. There's some airband there, and we've got our node here on 70 cents. That's normally actually crystal clear. That's better. It's normally very clear airband. Not sure why. He might have been slightly off frequency. He might have been on 8.33. To turn on airband, it's menu 48. So you go menu 48 on both, okay? So the, I would say the menu is virtually identical. So this isn't the newer plus model. I'm not sure why that station's off frequency. Because I've been listening to airband all day and it's been clear the whole day. You see that anyway. So, okay, and then you've got airband dual receive there. Dedicated VFO memory button, Bluetooth on both of these. You can program them with the app called OD Master on your Android phone, your iPhone, and your Windows PC. And with some models, you can actually update the firmware. The CPS software for Windows is, yeah, it works fine. And some of these models are included on Chirp as well. So look out for that. You've got twin PTTs there. Now this one is not twin PTT. I wonder if you can set a twin PTT, but it's not an, ob an obvious twin PTT. Thank you. Lovely clear screens with brightness settings, and then you can program these using your UV5R cable. Let's swap the antennas. See if he sounds distorted on the other one as well. Just using an SMA adapter that you can buy for a few pound on Amazon. That's the TID uh, H3 now. It's a sharper speaker, but it's still very nice. Four, three, four, five, five zero. And so on the on the H3 VFO memory, channel, channel mode. you can hold down the Bluetooth button. It turns on the Bluetooth. Right, antenna connected, just a VHF, UHF One. external antenna. Frequency mode. I'm going to go in frequency mode. You can type the One. frequency. Three, three, 
Eight, five, zero. So that's air band there. I'm going to put the hand band on here, see if we get some something there. On screen, you can see the power, which you can set. Menu, just scroll through. Look, you've got squelch on number one. And it's the same on both, really. Power. And I've tested it. It's 10 watts on this one, and that one's 5 watts. They've been lots and lots of tests have been done on this regarding the harmonics and they're all been given the green light so and I did a short test on it so that's it really thanks for watching my YouTube channel and uh, catch you on air please hit the like subscribe 73 all the best bye for now